Okay, good morning guys. So, remember how I said on Instagram that I wanted to do Vlogmas and I was wondering if you guys would be interested in me doing Vlogmas? And a bunch of you guys said yes and gave me video suggestions and then I, I just didn't film. So, forgive me. Um, this is my first time like actually trying to be super consistent with videos. So I just um, need some grace. <laughs> um, anyways, I just got out of the shower and a couple of you guys were asking about um, my hair routine, which really isn't a whole lot, but typically we will use, or right now, we're using these Pantene products. Um, I haven't really found um, a line that I stick to. I typically just buy something, try it, and then I always just end up trying something else. Um, but, I mean, I did like this Gold Series line. So um, we use the co-wash and the Moisture Boost Conditioner in the shower. And um, for regular shampoo, we were just using a Shea Moisture one that we had left over because we really don't go through that much shampoo. Um, it was like the green... It, it was like the green line. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's like the shampoo and conditioner we've been using, or co-wash and conditioner. And then for me, Bailey uses different products outside of the shower, but... <laughs> Hey, Stinky. Hey, Stinky. Hey. Hey. Um, I've been using from the same line just because I wanted to try everything together. So this is... Oh, and I actually haven't put anything in my hair yet, so I'm going to do that with you right now. Um, so this is the Gold Series Leave-In Detangling Milk. Looks like that. Um, and this has actually lasted me... A nice long time so I just put like that much in um, that was like five pumps I think um, and I normally try to like focus it on my ends hi stinky man and then work my way up because my ends are definitely the driest um, um, and then I'll like split it down the middle and I'll do a little bit more. Um, I want to get a, that was just another five pumps. I want to get a keratin treatment done. It's basically just like a smoothing treatment to help smooth your hair. Um, I've been wanting to get one for a while now, but my hair, I just, I think is a little bit drier uh, post-pregnancy, postpartum, um, than it was before. So, I really would like to, I'm sorry, y'all really can't see what I'm doing because I'm wearing black and my hair is really dark, but, um, so I really want to try and see how it works for my hair, but I also kind of need a trim. Okay, so after I rake that through, oh, and I'll typically go in with this little palm, palm brush kind of thing. But I need a new one because it's getting really nasty. Um, actually, we're going shopping today, so I need to put that on my list. Okay. And then, again, from the same line, Gold Series Pantene, I'll use the Hydrating Buttercream. And it says it's infused with argan oil. Um, this isn't like sponsored or anything. I just, I wanted to try everything from the line just to see how I liked it. So this one is a lot thicker. Um, and just because my hair is really dry, I'm gonna use that whole glob on one side. My hair has just been, well, first of all, I think I'm going through postpartum hair loss because look at how thin my hair is. I mean, it's a lot longer, but it feels so much thinner than it ever has before. Um, 
So yeah, just raking that through. Um, but yeah, my hair is just a hot mess. So another glob. And I do like this part. I think I like, if I were to repurchase, you can see my hair everywhere, but if I were to repurchase, I'd probably buy, well, I don't know. I like both for different things. Um, I like the detangling milk. Really as like a primer is how I would describe it. Um, just like right out of the shower. I really do like them together. So I don't know. I might repurchase. Um, I know Pantene isn't the best um, company for curly hair. But I mean I heard really good things about the Gold Series. And any other like specifically made or specific company for curly hair just hasn't really like, I don't know, I feel like it just took a lot more product for it to actually get into my hair. I don't really know. I don't know. But anyways, so just brushing that through again. But okay, so in the shower, I'm just losing literally like like globs like filling up my whole palm of hair and if you have curly hair you know that whenever you get in the shower whenever you brush out your hair regardless um you lose a lot of hair because straight hair um the hair falls out just like regularly but with curly hair it gets stuck all that so you are you already lose a lot more in the shower it looks like you're losing a lot more um but i just feel like i'm losing so much hair it's ridiculous it's ridiculous stinking me it's ridiculous but anyway so that's basically it um when it gets a little bit drier like when all the, when it's not wet, um, when it's not as wet, I'm going to put some olive oil in it. I don't do that every day, but I actually just saw a TikTok that I really do want to try. They boiled aloe vera, like pure aloe vera leaf, cut it up, boiled it in olive oil, and so they turned it into aloe vera oil and put it in their hair. And I really want to try that because I know aloe vera is really good for your hair. But whenever I've tried to put it in my hair just alone, it doesn't really, it doesn't really work for me. So, anyways, I I do have the Gold Series Serum, but I, I, I like it for shine. I don't like it for added moisture or anything like that. I think it's too... Like, it just leaves too much of a film on my hair, so don't really like it. But, anyways, on the agenda today, we are going to go to Starbucks. Because mommy needs a coffee. <laughs> um, Hendrix didn't sleep well at all last night, but we're going to go to Starbucks. We're going to do a little bit of shopping. Um, Christmas shopping for Bailey's mom. Um, it was... Um, Bailey's dad's birthday yesterday, so gonna try to find something for him. I already found stuff for Bailey, my mom, um, and we pull names, so, and I pulled my mom's name, so, um, oh, and I need to find something for, um, the name pool on Bailey's dad's family. I got... His name is Elijah. He's like gonna be um, one of the cousins' husband in oh this month. Are they getting married this month? I think so. But anyways, so I have to find something for him, which is gonna be hard because I've never actually met him. But anyways, so I'm hoping to go to like Target, TJ Maxx. I might want to go to a couple thrift stores just to browse, look around. Um, and I figured I would bring you guys along with me, so we don't really have a whole lot of excitement going on. 
Um, most of the time, so Saturdays are our busy days. Come here, Stinky. Hey, Stinky, Stinky Moon. Look. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Tell everybody hi. He had a really good nap. And I think the reason why he didn't sleep, he hasn't been sleeping very good, is because I'm talking about you. Is because he is teething a little bit. But, um, babies have certain, like, time frames for their wake windows. So, when he was a newborn, the longest he would be, newborn, like, three months, the longest he would be up would be, like, an hour. And I forgot to up his wake window times. So, basically, like, I would let him stay up for, like, an hour, hour and a half and then put him down. And I think... Like, now that he's older, he's almost five months, he can actually stay awake longer. And so, that's kind of on me. I just didn't, I just wasn't thinking about it. But, anyways, I am going to do my makeup, get this little stinker dressed, and I will see you guys in a little bit. So, my grandma wants slippers with a back and a cotton set, a cotton pajama set. So, I think she would like the black ones, but they don't have her size, so probably the tan ones would be the next. Please? Yeah. You see? Should, I, should we call her just to make sure that's her size? We can ask your mom. These are nice though. Yeah, they look cozy. I kind of want some. Let's call my mother. Stinky man. Guys, don't you think me and Bailey should get matching pajamas with Hendrix for Christmas? Wouldn't that be so cute? Hey, mom. Cute for you, not for me. Grandma wears a size eight, right? Shoes. Yes. All right, so we just left Target. We got almost everything on our list, right? Other than looking for something for your mom and getting stuff for your dad. Yeah, we got uh, we got most everything on the list. Um, Found a ballin' pajama set for your grandma. I think she'll like it. I think she'll like those slippers too. She better like it. I have never heard of a pajama set being $50. It wasn't $50, it was $30. Well, the slippers and the pajama set put together to make a whole pajama uh, conglomerate is 50 bucks. Yeah. So. Anyways, I think I showed you guys my drink before that I typically get from Starbucks, but... Show them how your name is spelled. Oh. She said, is that with an I or a Y? <laughs> but there's like 500 different ways to spell Sydney. Yeah, so. Anyways, I get a Starbucks double shot on ice with white mocha. Typically, I'll do almond milk, but they were out of almond milk, so I did soy milk. Which, I should have thought about before, because there's soy milk is vanilla soy milk, so it adds extra sweetness, so. There's extra sweetness in that nasty drink. It's, it's not gross. nasty. Coffee's so gross. Bailey doesn't like coffee. He doesn't like tea. Coffee, I do like tea. Coffee. You do? I will drink like, well, I mean. I'll, hot tea? Yeah, I'll drink certain hot teas. And especially if it has like a honey in it or something like that, it's pretty good. But like, coffee is just overrated. It really is. And everybody. It's not. Everybody drinks it, so I'm like against the entire world, pretty much. But no, you're just, not against the entire world. There are see, people who don't drink coffee, but I just don't see the necessity. Everybody thinks it's like a necessity. It's really not. I feel like iced coffee is a big trend. Like that became like a super big trend, iced coffee. But like you have somebody like me who I've been drinking coffee since middle school. Like yeah. my grandma would make herself a cup you're of coffee. No and me a cup of coffee. 
Well, I'm just saying, like, the, necessity, liked it. the necessity part of it is there's so many people that are like, oh, I can't get up in the morning and do, I can't yeah. get to work without my coffee. Yeah, it's I don't like, think I'm like that. I mean, I do, whatever. I like the taste of it, and I also kind of like the routine of it, like making my coffee in the morning. Like, yeah, it's that's kind fine. of like, that's fine. for sure. It's just like my little routine. Are you guys a routine coffee drinker? Like, you do it strictly for the routine or the taste or both? I think I'm both. Ooh, we should go to Michaela's place. To try to find him some onesies. Oh, yeah. Hendrix is quickly outgrowing all of his clothes. <laughs> He's already God. in 12 month outfits. I mean, basically. And he's four months old. So, he's just yeah. a, a big boy. He's a chunk. And so... Big chungus. We basically That's don't cool. have any, like, sleepers. Um, which, I mean, I know you can just put him in a onesie, like a long sleeve onesie and pants and call it a day. But I just like something about it being like a separate thing. You know? <laughs> I've always been that kind of person that, like, I like yeah. having pajamas, you know? That's just my thing, so. <laughs> Anyways, it's but. It's because you actually sleep in them. When I get pajama pants and stuff, it's like, I'll wear them, like, on a super rare occasion. Because well, I don't. I feel like most guys. sleep in them. I, th I feel like that's a guy thing, though. Like, most guys don't sleep in pajamas. Well, it's, yeah. Because we aren't. We don't have frozen hearts of ice. All I'm just women get cold at night. And they need well, their pajamas. No, there are some women who like it extremely cold at night. Yeah. I am just a rare breed where oh in the summer even I'll have on a sweatshirt, sweatpants, oh socks. Gosh. You're practically a Karen. A Karen? Yes. You are practically a Karen. Don't even say her. I'm a Karen because I like to sleep in pajamas. No, I'm just saying, no, that's not the only reason. You just swear, I'm a rare breed. You're, da you're daggum Karen. I'm not a Karen. <laughs> Fine, uh, Kathy. Guys. <laughs> I'm just messing with her. Oh my gosh. Does that person see what they're doing? Yeah, they're backing up. Oh my. Oh. I thought you were going to stop and let me go because I was already out in the road. Guys, we just almost got in a wreck. There's just too many people out. And well, it's Saturday and it's like two weekends before Christmas. I basically did all of my Christmas shopping online. Oh crap, I got a... Let me message Caitlin. Are you talking about for your fiance? Yeah. Yeah. I really want my grandpa to get us a Sam's card. Alright, let's see what it is. I feel like we would never go there. I don't like Sam's. It's Me and my mom used to go just for the samples. We'd walk around and get all the samples. Oh, that's the best. See, I would... Your, you and your mom did some weird stuff. I would it's never, not weird. I would never go in there to get samples unless I was going there for something else. I wouldn't just take, hey, let's take a trip to Sam's to go get some samples. I mean, I feel like we may have bought <laughs> something. Like, my mom isn't the kind of person to just go in and get free stuff. Like, she'll go in and buy one thing and partake in all the samples, you know. What is that? Oh, it's a mattress. I thought you were talking about the shoes that that guy was wearing. No, it's Crocs? No, that guy. Oh. He's got a pair of J's, but it's just whites. White highs. Alright. In other words, just garbage. I think I'm gonna post a video today as well. Okay. Other than, like, just like moving around and stuff. So, we're making just our rounds, making a couple of random stops. Um, Bailey just picked up some shoes that he's gonna resell. Um, I've mentioned it before, but Bailey is a shoe reseller. Small time. Nothing yeah. Crazy. Just a little hobby. Um, and yeah. he just picked up 
the mochas. If you're into shoes, you might know what these are. I've seen them, but these they're are... Like the, they're like the Travis Scott's, same colorway, just without the reverse check. These are men's... What'd you get, nine? Yeah, it's a men's nine. Men's nine, women's ten and a half, but um, I'll post all of his info in the description below. Yeah, follow I feel like, I feel like you get shoes, like, every week. Yeah, every week, just every about. two weeks, whatever. I mean, it just, just depends sell. on, it just depends on if I, you know, if I'm wanting to even do business that week. Sometimes I'm too busy to even. Yeah. Yeah, because I took, like, almost, like, a whole month off because I was just real busy with work and stuff. Okay, so we didn't end up going to the thrift store or TJ Maxx or anything. Um, but I wanted to show you what we got. Hopefully none of my family members end up watching this before Christmas. But so my grandma wanted a 100% cotton pajama set. We got this one from um, Target from the, what is it, the Stars Above line, and it's got like um, pine cones and stuff on it. I thought it was kind of cute. And she also wanted some slippers with the backing, the heel part on it, so we got her those. We're probably gonna go ahead and wrap them tonight just because I wanna put some <laughs> presents under the tree. Um, for Bailey's brother, that's the name that Bailey pulled. We got him some um, table tennis balls, ping pong balls. Um, and he works on cars and he's always doing stuff like outside or on his car, on our cars, whatever. So we got him this light thing. And what ended up selling us on it is that it's got a magnet on the bottom. So he can stick it to like the very top of his car or one of our cars, whoever's car, when he's working on it and stuff. I don't know if you can see that right there. Oh no, right there. No, right there. Anyways. So we got that for him. And then everything else is just personal stuff. Like I got this body scrubber. Um, new hairbrush mine was all nasty and then more hair products that I was telling you guys about that we needed so co-wash the butter cream that's the thicker one that I put in my hair um, regular conditioner and toothpaste so I mean I feel like we had a pretty successful trip but yeah. now we're gonna figure out dinner hi stinky I want to wrap up these gifts. Uh, the ones we got today for Jesse and your grandma? Yeah. Oh, okay. Or do you want to wrap them up since they're from you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Bailey just learned how to wrap gifts last year. Was it last year, babe? Yeah, I did pretty well. I wrapped, some, I wrapped all your gifts for you. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't do that. That was like your first time ever actually doing it um do we have a box big enough to fit this uh oh this no this might be too narrow i think i'm going to use that for my grandma's stuff it would fit in there You always take it out of the box. I mean, that'd be kind of weird, but then... Take what out of the box? Like the light. Oh, the no, no. It needs to stay in that. Okay. I'm probably going to use this one for my, for my grandma. Uh, I think one of my... Okay, so I want to try wrapping this a little bit different. Um, this is just a box from a package that I got. But I've seen... I don't know if it was on TikTok. Yeah, I think it was on TikTok or um, Instagram or something. Like a special way to wrap your gifts. Let me see if I can find the video. Hold on. Oh my. Ah, it wasn't 
wasn't as easy as it looked, but I got the hang of it. The hard part is cutting the wrapping paper to the correct size. Once you do that, the folding is super easy. Fold the paper and use creases to keep it in place. I don't know if I can do that with the box this big. I tape to secure it in place because I am not a natural. But I was really happy with the end result. Using this thick craft paper helped a lot too. It took a bunch of tries, but once I got the hang of it, I was able to wrap other gifts in half the time. Plus, the end product looks so cute. I can't wait to put these under the Christmas tree. Comment and let me know if you've tried it and what your thoughts are. Are you pro or against? Either way, happy holidays. Okay, yeah, I don't think... Let me see the most beautifully wrapped Christmas presents this year, here are a few tips. In addition to those patterned wrapping papers, make sure you also have at least one solid. I went with a brown oh, craft paper cute. this year. I love layering my pattern paper with the solid paper for a really fun look. I a love sprig that. of greenery also adds a really personalized touch. When you're cutting your paper, don't get rid of those scraps. I love layering my patterns on patterns as well. Cute. When you're picking out your wrapping oh. paper, try to pick colors and patterns that work together. Then you'll be able to create some really fun coordinating combos. Mm. The other thing I love to do is layer my ribbon. I've been using this gorgeous satin silk ribbon from Amazon for several years now and I have lots of different colors and lots of different widths. I think the layering makes them look really professional. Here are a few of the gifts I've wrapped so far. Okay, that's really cute, but let me see. I'm just gonna let's just try it. This is actually working. Okay. Um, should I just? This is probably too long of a piece. So. Oh, I hope that's not too short.
Okay, I'm struggling now. Schomburg? Yeah. Oh lord. What? Oh my god. You got it too short? No, I it just it's looking a little a little janky. Okay. Okay. Somewhere. Okay. So it's a little bit harder with a bigger box, but not terrible. I mean, I feel like that's still, that's pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to get my ribbon. Second, please. So many of you guys were asking for the recipe. Um, I had a bunch of you actually try it and say that you loved it. And it really is so good. And it's super easy. So this is just um, Italian sausage that I'm just going to brown up. Um, so yeah, just tomato paste, um, crushed tomatoes. We might not even need this whole thing. That might be a lot. Heavy cream and some chicken broth. And the original recipe actually calls for kale, but we switch it out for spinach just because we like that better. Um, and this is the tortellini that we use. We shop at Publix mainly. 
um, just five piece tortellini, wherever you can get it. But it's literally so easy. Bailey is um, getting little man ready for bed right now. He is acting real fussy. Oh crap, I didn't put any oil in the pan. I saw on TikTok somebody do an experiment with olive oil because apparently um, a lot of the olive oil in stores is not real olive oil. You can test it by putting olive oil in the fridge and if it solidifies, um, kind of like coconut oil, then it's real. So this one was a winner. It's the California olive oil. Okay, so my camera died for a second, but after I browned the meat, I went ahead and added the uh, chicken broth and then half that can of crushed tomatoes, about a um, just a spoonful of uh, tomato paste, heavy cream. I added a little bit of adobo and then the whole bag of spinach just because um, I don't just want to be left with a little bit of spinach because we really don't use it a whole bunch. Um, and then the tortellini and I just got it on simmer and it's basically done but um, I'm just going to let it go and, and stay on simmer until Bailey is ready. Hendrix is having a hard time laying down so but and that's I mean seriously guys that's it it's so easy and it's so good